Be certain that your temporary axes located under the View menu are turned on. Click the angled face. Select Whole Wizard from the Feature Manager. From the Type tab, select Tapped Hole. Select ANSI Metric for Standard. Select Bottom Tapping Hole. Enter 3 by 0.5 for Size. Select Blind for End Condition. Click the Positions tab. Select Normal to View. Notice how the tapped hole is positioned below the temporary axes. Click the right edge. Click the center point of the tapped hole. Enter 25 for dimension. Click the temporary axes through the guide hole. Click the center point of the tapped hole. Enter 4 for dimension. Click OK from the Dimension Property Manager. Click OK from the Hole Position Property Manager. Display an isometric view. Click View. Uncheck Temporary Axes. Display the right view. Click Linear Pattern from the Features Toolbar. Click the top horizontal line for Direction 1. Select the tapped hole as the feature to be patterned. Enter 3 for Number of Instances. Select the vertical edge for Direction 2. Enter 2 for Number of Instances and 12 for Distance Spacing. Click OK to create the linear pattern. Right click on the material icon. Click Edit Material. Select AISI 304. Click Apply to accept the material. Click Close. AISI 304 is displayed in the Feature Manager of the Guide. Click the Evaluate tab. Select Mass Properties. Select the Options tab. When dealing with middle meter parts, you want to use custom settings and enter number of decimal places till 4. The mass properties of this part is displayed. Close the mass properties, click File Save. Click File, Close.